Come on, camera, help me out. <laughs> help me out. <sighs> Just going through the palettes, like as if something new is gonna pop up. Oh, oh! <clears throat> um. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, so for this video, as you guys can see, I came in here bare-faced. Not even a moisturizer. I can see some, actually a whole lot of ashy spots. <laughs> but that's me though. But anyways, I wanted to do this tag or challenge. Is it a challenge? I don't know. I tried following whoever's makeup tutorial uh, videos. I saw them going around and I actually, I actually was really interested to do it because it's kind of interesting as content creators we just put up you know well actually let me speak for myself because I don't know what the other people's uh, situation is so I usually put up makeup tutorials and stuff like that but I don't really follow somebody else's makeup tutorial so I thought it would be interesting to just follow along and see like how it is from the other side you know from a viewers perspective so when I think of somebody that I've learned a lot of makeup techniques and stuff like that on YouTube, the first name that pops up in my head is definitely Nikki Tutorial. So that's why I wanted to follow along with her tutorial and uh, let's see how it turns out. Huh. Hello guys, it's me, Nikki, and hello. Am I too late to the game? For, I don't know, I don't know, I might grab be. Grab your brushes, grab your makeup, and let's go. So before we do anything major glam and major crazy, I think it's time to take care of the skin. That's another thing. Obviously, I don't have as much product or the same product as she does, but I guess part of the challenge is working with what you have, and that's what I'm going to do. I do have quite a bit of eyeshadow palettes, but not with... The rest of the makeup products but i'm just gonna use what i have and see what i come up with if i don't have it i'm gonna skip it if i have similar things i'm gonna use what i have so putting that out there basically this is a beauty multitasker that does everything for you so basically it's like having a facial all-in-one it cleanses the face from makeup it washes away dirt and oils it tones the skin Sounds it hydrates the skin and it exfoliates the skin to give it a smooth surface perfect for makeup application okay i'll just use face wipe i guess because <laughs> that's what i've got this is from Costco. It's called Kirkland Signature Daily Facial Toilets. Ooh, so now we are ready for the cake up and the creativity. Hold this on, hold is on. retails for just by the way, hold it on, is hold retails on. for seven forty nine. Okay. And this right here is called Shameless Foundation by Marc Jacobs. Okay, so she just goes right to the foundation. Okay. Um, she didn't really moisturize or anything. I don't maybe she did behind the scenes. I don't know. So I'm just gonna go ahead and moisturize with my trusty old Vaseline. Huh? Let's <laughs> just use a little bit of that and I'm gonna moisturize my face because it is on the dry side. Ooh, you see how ashy the lips are? <laughs> the more I smile, the worse it gets. Do not have that foundation that she's talking about. I'm just gonna be using my MAC Studio Sculpt. This is in shade NC45. Let's just apply that and work it in to the skin. Everyone, literally everyone is asking me about the sponge. A makeup artist gave it to me as a gift. Oh, okay. She gave it to Okay, so that's the story behind her blender. I'm using the Real Technique uh, Complexion Sponge to put my foundation on and when I do my own I usually like to color correct because it's kind of dark around this area for me she didn't do that so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, apply my foundation oh that looks so okay that looks light I love those comments and they definitely inspire me I don't know just speaking tr speaking the truth here I don't know if having a makeup brand is for me. I, I wow. love creating products. I love coming up. I would, I would definitely buy something if she, well, depending on the pricing and stuff, if I can afford it. 
but I I'll, I'll definitely love to support her if she did have her own makeup a brand. I think she would be great at it. Oh my goodness, this is kind of turning crazy. The lighting, I guess. The lighting. Blame it on the lighting. Really quickly, I'm going to do my brows off camera because I cannot speak when doing my brows. Okay, so she's going to skip the eyebrow process, so I'm going to do the same. It's not much that I do to them. Just fill them in and keep them in place, really. Well, that's what everybody does, I guess. Brand new Juvia's Place palette. This is the Festival. And oh, if you I don't love have that, yourself yeah. a punch of color, hello. All right, so I don't have that palette as I told you guys. So what am I gonna use? I do have quite a bit of Juvia's Place palettes. Priming with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Color Concealer. Putting this. Okay, don't have that. <laughs> Hopefully you guys don't get tired of me saying that, but. Some of you might understand. I'm just gonna use a uh, LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in Toffee. Toffee, Toffee, what? Toffee. We're putting this on the lid. Okay, she's using a brush to apply and that. And once I have spread it out evenly, I'm going to pat it in like Paige Louise makeup on Instagram. This is one of my favorite new techniques of priming the eyes. Oh, okay. Because it will just, and the, the magic trick behind this is, you don't set this with a face powder. Oh, really? I know it sounds so unnatural, but you take a high coverage concealer, and I know Paige Louise is coming out. I have to continue working as she is. Oh. This is gonna get the most pigmentation out of the shadow. This is gonna get the most color payoff, the best blending. So not setting it with a face powder. I know when I first did it, I was like, but, 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 but what? That's I tried it kind of I'm what I'm wondering. With, like I'm in love with this technique. I'm gonna go in with this red shade first. Hold on, hold on, exactly. Nikki, hold on. Let me see if what she said actually works. Although this is not the same concealer. Let me see. I try to blend it as much as possible just to avoid creasing and stuff like that. I'm gonna go in with this red shade first called Izava. Izava, but I don't have Izava from the Festival palette, so let me see what I've got. Okay, red eyeshadow. Okay, I got, okay. Oh, it's not too red, but I have, okay, I think that's the closest one to what she's using from the ones that I have. I love her eyeshadow blending techniques. It's very efficient and effective. Number two was, oh my god, we're going to okay. ride ATVs. Wait, and how did you get to blending all of that? Totally did not see. She took it all the way up to the inner corner. This is what I got that's clean currently, so I'm just going to use the E330 brush by Mikasa. And just, just blended it, I guess. Oh, she took it a little bit higher though. Or is it the blending? Did she use another shadow? Hmm. I wonder. Okay, you know what? The more I see it, maybe I want to add a little bit more color because it's not exactly the same red that she used. So I feel like adding a little bit of uh, Ada from the Masquerade palette. It's this color right here. Okay, let me hear what she's saying. Kind of got focused. <laughs> Tunnel vision. Okay, I'm cutting the lid. Wait, wait. Again. Not there yet. When I'm done blending this in like two hours, I will be cutting my crease. I'm kidding. Don't give up until you get to the end. <laughs> okay, I'm cutting the lid with that concealer again. Okay, so she's using the same concealer to cut. Should I use the same one or? You know what? I like using my select cover up because that's pretty much the only reason why I use this concealer. It's very liquidy. And I want to do a spotlight colorful creative eye today. And I'm trying to come up with... Wait, wait. Should I try this method where people kind of blink and then do you know where to cut exactly? works I thought it wasn't working really all right so I'm using a tapered tiny concealer brush this is from Amazon please look half decent I'm gonna go with the red eyeshadow again and 
And she used a smaller brush. This is from uh, e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's the contour brush. The full creative eye today. Okay, so the and middle looks like it's a little bit more skinnier. Sort of new shape. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sad thing is, I am not going anywhere after this. <sighs> All this hard work. All this concentration. Are we there yet? Ooh, looks like a mess right now, but there's going to be a turnaround season coming through very soon, I hope. Uh, from the same masquerade palette, I'm going to take Giza. Is she use Fix Plus? I don't know. Okay, so she started applying it from the top. Okay. Bring it to live. Okay, does she bring it out? So I want to finish. Okay. And sort of like the center going down. Oh, it's getting some life again. Okay, don't get too excited. Okay, it's looking like an eye. You know what, since we're playing here anyways, I just got these Danessa Myricks Waterproof Cushion Colors in. Oh. And this is a neon orange. And I really want to put a small, defined, thin line at where the creep, like the faux crease meets the color. Please don't let me down. Okay, I got that. Oh boy. Just going through the palettes like as if something new is gonna pop up. Oh, oh, maybe use that. Okay, so I used a pencil um, brush like this and uh, grabbed a little bit and then went over it on the edges over here. Okay, now that we're done with that summary, let's move on. Okay, for the bottom eyelid, she used two colors. No, she used one color, but I don't have uh, the type of, uh, is it blue? For the lower lash line, believe it or not, I'm gonna go in with the blue because I'm gonna be creative, yes. Because I don't have the exact color that she has, I'm gonna mix these two colors from the Morphe 35S palettes. You know what, I feel like I could just use this shade alone and see if it's sort of similar-ish. Does it look too green now? <laughs> Oh goodness gracious. Okay, how far did she take it? And suddenly I am asking myself, why blue? Regretting all my life decisions. You know, I feel like this is another one of those looks that looks like total trash until you put the lashes on. Highlighting inner corners always help. Wait, too. what? Okay, so she's moved she moved on to highlighting her inner corner. Um not there yet. Ugh. It's a lot more shimmery looking though. Do I have anything? Okay, maybe let me go with the her. You know what? Are getting somewhere. Let me put on lashes and maybe a liner. Okay, so what I had uh, was. Oh no, she skipped a whole lot of step, which happens, you know. I'm using Giza. Totally get it. Okay, so what I happened was. Um, it looked a little weird without a wing, so I added a wing, and then I was like, the blue is too contrasty compared to like what's going on top, so I added a little bit of purple, and I added a little bit of pink. Definitely have to rewind that. <laughs> oh boy. Sarah Green just chilling on my nose, on the side of my nose. I'm gonna be using uh, Makita from uh, the Masquerade palette. I think I still have this palette. Honestly, you should totally get it. Just a gorgeous palette and it always comes through. I have her on pause just so I can see <laughs> and try to recreate because, uh, you know what? Oh, now it's looking like there's a green in there instead of, okay, I'm gonna be applying the green one because that color that she applied for the bottom eyelid it's a lot more shimmery and stuff like that. So I'm thinking maybe I can do Molly from uh, the Masquerade palette. Oh, oh, maybe we're going somewhere. Maybe we are. Fix plus, maybe fix plus. Yeah. Okay, I can't really say anything until the end. Come on camera, help me out. <laughs> help me out. Okay, I'm gonna blend these ones, like I told you guys. 
I'm not liking it. Is it better? I don't know. I feel like it's disappearing. But I gotta move on. I added a little bit of purple and I added a little bit of pink here. That's basically all that. Oh, and I added yellow to the. I changed a lot. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so she turned the top one into a yellow. I mean, what can I do about that? Okay, I have I have a yellow here, but I'm just gonna try to top it on top uh, where I applied the where I applied the <clears throat> I can't even remember colors anymore because there's a lot happening here. Okay, where I applied the orange is that even a good idea? I don't know at this point. I don't know, man. Okay, it's actually oh okay. Oh. Moving on, I'm gonna do uh, the lashes, uh, the uh, winged eyeliner mascara, and then come right back because this is staying too long. Now let me go off camera for a little and just try to get near this. Just try. Ooh, she is so good. Okay, let me done. do the same thing. I don't know. I don't know, guys. But you know what? It's not gonna take me as long because, of course, the first one is always the hardest part. So without further ado, let me just go ahead, do the side of the eye. Hmm. All right, guys, so I finished both sides. You know what? It's actually looking... Uh, she don't give, give myself a credit or give Nikki some credit, you know what I mean? I also just wanted to let you guys know, I don't know why I was struggling with the bottom eyelid with the greenish, with the bluish greenish color, but I used it here from the Juvia's Place Saharan palette. And then all around this area, I went over top with Molly, and then I used that purple with the outer corner. It's creasing over here, but you know what? Forget that, and then what's next? Today I'm going to bronze with this Marc Jacobs bronzer in the color Tantric. I definitely don't have that. This is uh, the Morphe Warm Pro Definition Palette, and I'm gonna use that shade to bronze up my face. Oh, do so just go in with it, girl. What I also like to do is um, powder up around this area with Fit Me Matte and Poreless Pressed Powder. Uh, just cause I, I have, my smile line will be like on fleek, you know what I mean? If I don't, <laughs> just gonna go ahead and do that. I did see her use, I don't know if she has that, that uh, concern. It's not a problem, you know. The best tattoo artist of New York City. Okay, so looks like she's using a blush, but I didn't say what it is. Don't have a blush. <laughs> uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use Bori from uh, the Masquerade palette. For highlighter today, open. Wait. Um. Look at that. It's like a soft pink blindingness. This is called. Hello, talk. Knowing Ofra, it is creamy. Okay, she kind of. Intense. Ooh. And hello. <laughs> I get excited too for highlighters. Don't have that. Well, you know what? I think I'm gonna use Daya. I've used it before. It's not really a pinkish color. It's more like a golden eyeshadow, but it doesn't have those chunks. So I'd love to use it for my highlights. Wait. So she only highlights here. Okay, I see I see her nose highlight and uh, Cupid's bow too. Okay, and then for lips, I have the brand new Fenty Beauty. Don't have that. You guessed it. <laughs> I'm gonna try my lip liner. This is the Annabelle Spice lip liner. <laughs> my lips are kind of like dry. Mm, not kind of, they are. She added a gloss. What gloss do I have on top? What can I add on top? This is not what she had on. It just looks like a clear type of glossy thingy. Is that my jam? No, it's Finders Keepers. And it is a glossy lip piece. Let me put this on top and hopefully I kinda kinda get similar to what she has. Neutral it down. Okay guys, and neutral it down. I'm trying to amp it up to kinda make it look like yours, Nikki. Okay, she applied it all over, so... Mm -hmm. Should have left it as is. 
the color resembled more without the gloss. So I guess she added fix plus and everything else. Um, I'll be right back. There we go guys. Uh, it is done. <laughs> it is done. Maybe I shouldn't have done a red background like this. But this is how the look turned out. I even tried to kind of do what she did with the with the hair with a little bun and stuff like that did not turn her like hers but if I'm gonna commit I wanted to commit to the hair too you know what I mean so yeah it was definitely fun to do but oh gosh it did take a long time and it, for her too she said it took her a long time and for me because I was trying to work with the products that I have and trying to see what works would this look uh, similar to what she have and stuff like that it was a little bit took me a little bit longer than than normal you know what I mean uh, but yeah I, I'm actually really happy with the results what do you guys think I'd love to know your thoughts what if I did this would it make the eyeshadows pop more sorry for the noise anyways thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I don't know, maybe we're inspired to get up and create looks and stuff like that with what you have. I will list the products that I've used in the description box down below, so don't forget to check that out. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in another video.